Ah, oh my gosh, dude. That's the best I've ever played in a tournament. Let's go, baby. Welcome back to another video. It's currently about 7.15 in the morning. We got that beautiful sunrise over here in Orlando, Florida. Getting ready for our Monday qualifier. We are about three hours away from our tea time, or sorry, two hours away from our tea time. Champions Gate, international course. Uh, we're gonna get after it today. Taking guys through my day. Uh, we made it through the pre-queue at one under, and today we're gonna need a absolute low one. So I'm not gonna set any expectations, no goals today. Uh, so come along with me during my day. Gonna go over everything and just document, document the process, baby. You gotta love it. All right, I'm gonna be honest, as a golfer, if you're not stretching every morning, or if you're not foam rolling with one of these bad boys, you're missing out. Probably one of my favorite things to do in the morning is uh, hang out on the porch, or I guess my mom's porch, and um, have my energy drink, and just listen to worship music as I get my day started. I think it's uh, crucial to start your morning off slow, not running around like a hoobum. Um, so we got that white noise in the background and stretching and walk brooks. And then we're really just gonna get our mind right for the day. And uh, let's go. Shake. Oh, that's a good doggy. I'll let y'all decide. Tell in the comments here. What you think? You like this all black with the, with the orange? What do you like? The Wilson boy right here. Let me know. All right, I wanted to share with you guys something interesting that I think about Monday qualifying. This stuff is like 1%, I believe. You gotta play your 1% golf. So 99% of the time, you're gonna play, you know, your normal, whatever you should average 68 to 72. But this time you're gonna need a one percenter. So, you know, for me, that is just committing and being aggressive to small targets and literally just going out there and giving it all to God and, and just playing how I know how I can play. So I shot four under yesterday at Bella Kalina, which is here in Mount Verde, Florida. Um, and then tomorrow, I mean today, in a couple hours, I'm looking to do the same thing or better. So. Thank you guys for all the support. This has been like a insane jersey. Wow, I didn't know where that came from. This had been an insane journey coming from football. Completely different, like football nerves and golf nerves is honestly wild. It's crazy to see the difference, like how I have to handle my mind, um, but with football and golf, so. Um, but we are about to pack up everything and then head on out to uh, get some food. I think we're getting Chick-fil-A this morning and then uh, go to the golf course. All right, you guys are wondering kind of what I bring snack-wise. I always kind of pack two power bars, two different ones, probably some bananas, but today we just got these two. Uh, we're gonna grab some Chick-fil-A here in a bit and then uh, eat these on the course. Here are the beautiful sticks that we're rocking today. We got the uh, Wilson Staff wedges, the Wilson Staff blade irons, this beautiful two iron, and then we got the Dynapower three wood and driver. Yes, sir, let's go. Game time, baby! Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, we're headed out and get some Chick-fil-A. Gotta get that body fueled up. I love to go uh, little chicken minis with the fruit cup. Gets me right, but. Made it to the promised land, baby! All right, bag secured. We got a chicken mini meal with a fruit cup, essential morning breakfast before you tee off. Let's get to work. All right, here we go. We made it to the Monday qualifier. Let's get to work.
All right, when I first get to the course, I head straight for the putting green or the bathroom, one of the two. Here he goes. I try to always start my practice putting with uh, alignment, making sure my putter is aligning perfectly the whole rolling in over end. All right, here we go. Putting, chipping done. Now we're walking over to the driving range. Feeling loose, feeling good. Lines are starting good, so that's always a good sign, but we got about 20 minutes till we tee off. It's gonna get a little warm up swings in and then head to the first tee. Warm up is done. We're headed to the first tee. Monday qualifier, we're coming for you. Right now, my thoughts is just, just be aggressive, commit to each target, and just have a day. Have a freaking day. Just have fun, go out there and give it your all. At the end of the day, it's all for his glory. Peace. Welcome to the 2023 Butterfield Bermuda Championship Open Qualifier. This is the 9.30 at 5 a.m. starting time. First to play from Orlando, Florida. Kevin is putting for an eagle on number 11. Great shot in there. Downwind, about 2.30 off the, from the green when he hit the shot. Probably hit a six iron, I think. That's what put him. Yeah, but no! get in. No! 
Oh my gosh. Wow. He missed it by an inch on the right. Chipping in for a deuce. He made birdie here, so now he's four under par after 12. We're on number 13. Yes, buddy, for a birdie here after a phenomenal second shot from the deep left rough. Only fairway he's missed today, but incredible save. All because he's got the strength to be able to get the ball where he did. Oh, gosh, lipped it out. Yeah, baby. Whoa! Swing, baby. Dude, that's the best I've ever played in a tournament. Ooh. I'm kind of speechless right now, honestly. Like, I mean, I'm going to try to put all the clips I have in this video, which you guys have already seen, but wow. I mean, this is my like genuine reaction to the round. Um, I really felt like complete control of my game, like from tee to green on the greens, like Oh, one more putt to drop and we're in this playoff. They're actually doing it. I don't know if you can see, try to zoom, but they're actually doing a playoff right now for that one spot that, you know, I didn't get, but you know, I couldn't be more pleased of how I performed today. Um, you know, I could blame it on the last hole, not making birdie or whatever, but there's so many shots out there that I felt like, you know, I missed one, two, three, four, almost six putts inside 10 feet today. Six putts. I mean, if I make all of them, that's 11 under. So I am thrilled and I am so thankful for all you guys for helping me along this journey. I mean, shoot, this is uh, just a start. I'm in infant stages of golf. Um, this is my, what, third or fourth year taking it? No, second year taking it full time. And this is my fifth year of playing competitive golf. So Wow, I mean, things are just moving in the right direction. Um, I'm going to share with you guys a little bit more of how I'm thinking like throughout the day and kind of like my my round. I'm going to share with you guys the, the round details and everything. So um, as always, I appreciate you guys. Uh, we're going to drive back home and then hang out with my dog. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Just made it back to the crib um, reflecting on today's round real quick before we end this video um, five under par 67 and safe to say that's probably the lowest tournament round I've played in a while um, we actually had three to four putts inside 10 feet that we missed so that round really could have been like an eight to nine or a par if we had everything firing but uh, made it equal on 11 kick-started the back nine almost chipped in on um 12 for eagle um just all the scores will be right here um when i'm talking about it but we had some uh few few putts coming down the stretch that didn't drop um you know 17 18 17 was a short part three 
put it like 20 feet and uh, just babied it, didn't get it there. And then 18, needed a birdie. I personally thought I had to get to seven under to uh, get in, but six was the number. And literally just had a bad lie, like in the rough um, below my feet and then just didn't get there. And then I just hit like an average to a below average chip got to like 25 feet and then just didn't make the putt but overall like a, you know i could pick and choose so many shots out there but overall it's just an incredible day i think we're just knocking out the door to uh break through and uh, it's just crazy to be in like that situation and like be under the gun and, and just know that i can do it that i can compete with the cole hammers with the willie max with you know all the guys that were trying to qualify you know i beat them or or almost like was first so it's like I can do it and I know I can and I, I just I thank you guys for the support and this channel is going to be something where like if you need help or if you need encouragement or just some motivation just come come like listen and come to this channel because I want it to be like a uh, a motivator like a encouragement to you guys and just know that shoot I started this journey just like you guys did I started somewhere and I just put my mind to it that we're we're going to end up somewhere special so um, this is gonna get, gonna write my own story here. This is gonna be pretty special when a linebacker makes a uh, PJ Tour event. But as always, thank you guys for joining, and I'll see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that comment box. I want to see everything you guys want to hear about. What you want to see, please comment below. Um, I really appreciate you guys always, and uh, peace.